Welcome to yoga. Yoga is a great practice for any time of day, but I especially like to begin my days with yoga. I find that when I practice yoga in the morning, um, the benefits of relaxation and a calm frame of mind um, carry me into the rest of my day. So I would encourage you to practice this yoga first thing in the morning if you can, and if not, any time of day works as well. So in this practice, we will begin lying on our backs. So make sure you've got space around you to stretch out and move. And make your way to lie on your back, on your mat with the knees bent and the feet on the floor. We'll begin with a relaxing breath and then we'll move into stretches, warm-ups, postures, and complete with a deep relaxation. So making yourself comfortable on your mat, just allow yourself to begin to settle into the floor. Bringing your attention to the parts of your body that are in contact with the mat. See if you could bring a little bit more of the shoulders and upper back in contact with the floor. And keep the back of the neck long by tucking the chin in very slightly. Bring the knees together to touch, inviting the legs to relax. And then rest the hands on top of the belly. Placing the hands on the belly to help you to connect with the breath. Allow yourself to sense the earth beneath you. Receiving support from the earth. Either close the eyes or gaze very softly. Inviting the breath to flow in and out through your nose. And on each inhalation, feeling the belly softly expand as you fill the lungs. And as you exhale, moving the navel gently towards the spine. And continue to breathe in this way, allowing the belly and torso to expand on each inhalation. Feel the belly sinking gently towards the spine as you exhale. Notice the sensation and quality of the breath. Notice if the breath feels deep or shallow. Notice if the inhalation feels longer or shorter than the exhalation. And we will breathe equally through the inhalation and the exhalation, moving into an extended exhalation breath to invite deeper relaxation. As you next inhale, count the length of your inhalation. And then count the exhale, making the exhale even to the inhalation.
And next, we'll make the exhalation longer than the inhalation. We'll prepare to inhale for a count of four, and then exhale for a count of eight, and take a natural breath in between. And if eight feels a little too long, you could try exhaling for five or six, and then increasing up to eight. Take a natural breath in and out. And now inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. And exhale. And continue on your own count. And on your next exhalation, releasing this breathing technique, allowing the breath to flow naturally. Noticing and receiving the effects of the extended exhalation breath, noticing what has changed. And now as we prepare to ease into movement, I invite you to breathe as freely and deeply throughout the practice as you are right now. And remember to be kind to your body, feeling free to take a rest or modify the poses at any time. And now extend and straighten the legs along the mat and extend the arms overhead along the floor. And on your next inhalation, reach long through the fingertips, reach out through the soles of the feet, lengthen through your spine, feel the whole body growing longer, and then exhaling, soften. And again, inhale, reach long through the arms, press out through the feet, full body stretch, allowing yourself to awaken. And then exhale, relax. And now reach long through just the right arm and the right leg, making the right side of your body longer than the left. Exhaling, soften. And now other side, inhaling, reach long through the left fingertips, press out through the sole of the left foot, making the left side of the body longer than the right. And then exhaling, soften and relax. And now flex the feet, toes pointing upward. And now slide the right foot to the right corner of your mat or a little bit further if you like. And then slide the left leg over to meet. So bringing the insides of the feet together. Toes are pointing upward. And keep the hips level. So if you notice the left hip popping off the floor, slide the feet a little bit closer in towards the center of your mat. And feel a deep sense of lengthening throughout the left side of the body. And the heel of the foot up through the hip, shoulder up through the arm. And keeping the head and neck long.
keep breathing naturally in and out through your nose, allowing your body to soften into these sensations. And one more full breath here, and then on your next inhalation, sliding the left leg back to center, followed by the right. My dogs are waking up here. I don't know if you can hear them. And now sliding, moving to the other side. Sliding the left foot to the corner a little bit further of your mat. And now slide the right leg over to touch. Bringing the insides of the feet to meet. Toes are pointing upward. Keeping your hips level. Shoulder blades relaxing into the floor, arms reaching overhead. Breathing deeply in and out through your nose, natural breath. Feeling a lengthening through the entire right side of the body. Noticing where along your body you feel the most sensation, sending your breath to those places. Remaining here for one more full deep breath. And now on your next inhalation, sliding your right leg back to center, followed by the left. And now bending the knees and releasing the arms by your sides. Again, settle the back into the floor. Walk the feet as close to the bottom as is comfortable. Feet and knees are hip width apart, preparing to ease into a bridge pose. We'll begin by warming up the spine by lifting and lowering the hips. So planting the feet, relax the shoulders down. In your next inhalation, lift the hips. An inch or so away from the mat and then exhale, lower the hips back down. Again, inhaling, lifting the hips a little bit higher and then exhale, lower back down. Continue to lift and lower, lifting the hips a little bit higher each time before lowering down. And now the next time you lift the hips off the floor, coming to hold, you might lift the hips just an inch or so away from the floor, or you may wish to bring them higher, perhaps in line with the shoulders and the knees. If you're feeling flexible, you could continue to lift the hips a little bit higher. And here you're welcome to keep the hands on the floor by your sides or you could take hold of the ankles if that's in reach. Another option is to interlace the hands together behind the back and wiggle one shoulder blade at a time underneath you. So choosing your variation of bridge, finding a comfortable place to hold. And stretching only to the point of Comfort without strain. So feeling free to adjust. You can always back off and take a rest or move a little bit more deeply.
And once again, we'll add the extended exhalation breath. Take a natural breath in and out. And now inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale one, two, three, four. Exhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. And exhale. Breathe naturally. And now preparing to release. And if you clasp the hands together, release the hand, returning one shoulder blade at a time to the mat. And then as you exhale very slowly, lowering through the upper back, through the rib cage. And finally, lowering the hips all the way back to the mat. Bring the knees together to touch, allowing the legs to relax, sliding the feet towards the bottom of your mat. Breathe here, noticing and receiving the energy and sensations of bridge pose. And now extend the arms to T position at shoulder height. And walk the feet about as wide apart as your mat and begin to slowly drop the knees from side to side. And as the knees drop to one side, turning the head to look over your opposite shoulder, bringing the twist up into the head and neck. And if it's not comfortable to move the head from side to side, you could keep the head still. Moving with the breath, inhaling as the knees lift and exhaling as the knees drop over to one side. And the next time that the knees drop over to whichever side you're heading towards, pausing here to hold. Keep relaxing the shoulders down into the mat. Softening the knees down towards the floor. On your next inhalation, slowly guide the knees and the head back to center. And then exhaling, dropping the knees to the other side. If you like turning the head to look towards the opposite arm. And breathe. And hold for one more full deep breath. And then on your next inhalation, slowly guiding the knees back to center. Bring the head back to center. And now draw one knee at a time into the chest, taking hold of the knees with your hands. And hug the knees in to release the lower back. Keeping the shoulders and head on the floor. Holding one knee with each hand, begin to make some small rocking motions from side to side. And gradually making the motions larger. Rocking all the way over to one side, bringing that foot, knee, hip, shoulder, all the way to the mat. And now on your next inhalation, leading with your top knee, slowly roll onto your back. Other leg trails along and roll all the way to your opposite side, bringing that foot, knee, shoulder, and hip all the way to the mat. 
and continue these large motions, rocking all the way from one side to the other. And you're welcome to make this movement faster to create a little more energy, or you could move slower for a meditative quality. And the next time you roll all the way to whichever side you're heading towards, pausing here, resting for a moment on your side. And from here, we'll make your way onto hands and knees. So pressing your hands into the mat and gently press your way up into a table position. And as you make your way into table, you have the option to rest on your hands on the forearms, or you could rest on your fists. So keep those options in mind to see what works best for you. And if at any time the wrists become uncomfortable, you could always switch to a different position. If you're on the hands, the wrists are right underneath the shoulders and spread the fingers wide. And press into each fingertip and knuckle to distribute the weight. And keep a soft bend in the elbows. Knees are directly underneath your hips. Helps of the feet resting on the mat. Now lengthen through your spine, extend the tailbone and the crown of the head away from one another and move the shoulder blades down the back. Moving into cat and dog stretches. On your next inhalation, lift the tailbone, soften the belly and gaze upward, moving into dog. And on your next exhalation, draw the tailbone under, rounding the spine and moving the chin in towards the chest. Inhaling, arching into dog. And exhaling, round into cat. And continue to move back and forth at your own pace. Inviting the mind to focus on the breath and the sensations along the spine as you move. And moving once more in each direction. And then return to a neutral table position. And now from here, stepping your left foot forward and bending that knee, coming into a low lunge. And the back knee could slide a little closer to the rear of your mat, resting on the fingertips. So you can rest on the hands on blocks if you have them. And now on your next inhalation, straightening the front leg a little or a lot lifting the toes and flexing the foot, and then exhale, bending the knees, returning to the low lunge. And again, inhaling as you straighten, exhaling, bend. Moving back and forth, loosening up the hip and giving a stretch to the leg. And now bending into that knee, coming to hold the low lunge, keeping the bent knee in line with your ankle. Now again, sensing the support from the earth beneath you, grounding the foot down. And on your next inhalation, begin to lift the torso, bringing the hands to the hips. Draw the tailbone down and press the thighs towards one another and lengthen evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. And now releasing the arms and moving into crescent pose, inhaling as you lift the arms up and overhead. And arms could be wide apart or closer together. And flex through the hands, pressing the fingertips back, giving a stretch to the hands, wrists, and forearms. We 
lengthening through the head and the neck, bringing the chin parallel to the earth. And now exhaling, lowering back down, returning the hands to the mat, preparing now for a twisting variation. Planting the right hand on the floor as you bring the left hand to your left hip. And as you exhale, twisting the torso towards the front bent knee. You can keep the hand on the hip for support, or you can extend the arm straight up from the shoulder. And you're welcome to stay here in this version, or if you like, you could come onto the ball of the back foot and straighten that leg coming into a high lunge variation. And now exhaling, lowering that hand down, dropping the back knee if you come into the high lunge, and then stepping back to the table. And before moving on to the other side, we'll release with some hip circles. So drawing the bottom back towards the heels, and then move the hips over to one side, forward and around. And you can make these circles as large or as small as you like moving at the pace of your own breath. And now pause to reverse, taking your circles in the other direction. And now gradually make the circles a little bit smaller and a little bit slower. And finding your way back to stillness, preparing now for the other leg. So now stepping your right foot forward, bending the knee in line with the ankle, and sliding the left knee closer to the rear of your mat. Lift the chest and relax the shoulders. Inhaling, straightening the front leg a little more a lot, and then exhaling and continue to move back and forth with your breath. And the next time you bend the knee, coming to hold the low lunge, preparing for crescent. Grounding down through the legs and then inhaling, lifting the torso, bringing the hands to the hips. Draw your tailbone down, lengthening evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. Draw the thighs towards one another. Release the arms and inhale, bringing the arms up and overhead, wide apart or closer together. So if you'd like to try a variation, you can clasp the hands together or hold opposite elbows behind the back. Opening up the chest and stretching the arms here. And if you're taking hold of the elbows, drawing the elbows down. And if you're clasping the hands, straightening the arms and pressing the hands away from you. And again, explore your own range of movement, stretching only to the point of comfort without strain. And now releasing the arms. Inhaling, bringing the arms overhead once again. And exhaling, lowering the hands down to frame the front foot, preparing for the spinal twist. Planting the left hand on the floor or perhaps on a block if you've got one, and bringing your right hand to the right hip, and twisting in the direction of this front bent knee. And inhaling, lifting the arms straight up from the shoulder if you like. And you can keep the back knee on the floor, or you can add the high lunge variation, pressing out through the back heel. One more breath here, and then exhaling, slowly unwinding. 
And if the back knee is on the floor, straightening that back leg coming into a high lunge. And on the next exhalation, stepping the back foot forward to meet the front, coming into a forward fold, releasing the crown of the head down. Bring the hands to the shins. Inhale, lift halfway so the spine is parallel to the earth. And then exhale, fold forward. And now press into the feet, bring the hands to the hips. Draw the navel towards the spine and inhale, slowly lifting up with a long neutral spine, taking your time. Gradually making your way to standing, lifting the arms up and overhead, and then exhale, lowering the hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Closing the eyes or gazing softly, taking a few deep breaths here to allow yourself to adjust to standing. And now releasing the arms. And as you next inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears and then exhaling, rolling the shoulders back and down. Releasing any tension or tightness you may be holding in the upper back and shoulders. and rolling the shoulders once more and then releasing the arms down. We'll move next into the half sun salutation. So bringing the feet hips width apart, lifting the toes and then spreading the toes wide. And now see if you could lower the toes one at a time, starting from the pinky toes and working your way towards the big toe. And it's fine if a few of the toes land at the same time. Grounding the feet down towards the earth, engaging your legs, lengthening evenly through the abdomen and the lower back. Broaden through the chest and move the shoulders down and away from the ears, lifting and lengthening through the head and neck so the chin is parallel to the earth. On your next inhalation, lifting the arms out to the side and then overhead, bringing the palms to me gazing upward and then as you exhale extend the arms to T position at shoulder height and hinge forward from the hips softening the knees as you move into your forward fold relaxing the crown of the head bring the hands to your shins inhale lift halfway so the spine is parallel to the earth and then exhale soften down and now bring the hands to the hips, press into the feet, navel to spine. Inhale as you slowly make your way up to standing. Bringing the arms out to the side and overhead, palms knee. And then exhale, lower the hands to prayer position in front of the heart, completing one round of sun sal half sun salutation. And now completing one more round at your own pace, following your own breath. And pausing with the hands in prayer when you're complete, receiving the stillness. Noticing the energy and sensation of the half sun salutation. Now coming to step at the front of your mat for a variation of full sun salutation. Standing with the feet, hips, hips width apart in a tall mountain pose, relaxing your shoulders. Inhale, lifting the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hinge forward. Hands to shins, lifting halfway. And then exhaling, stepping your right foot back, bending into the left knee, coming into high lunge. 
And you're always welcome to drop the back knee on the floor, coming into a low lunge variation. Feet are hips width apart, back heel is lifted if you're in the high lunge. On your next inhalation, lift the torso, bring one hand at a time to the front thigh and then to the hips. Squaring the hips forward, drawing the tailbone down and pressing the thighs towards one another. Create stability in the lower body. And now releasing the arms into any variation for warrior one. And then exhaling, lower the arms down, coming into high lunge or low lunge. And now stepping your left foot back and making your way into plank position as if you're at the top of a push up, heels, hips, and shoulders in one long line. And now lower the knees down to the floor. Slide the arms forward, moving into puppy stretch. And from puppy, we'll move into sphinx. Sliding the torso forward, dropping the elbows down, straightening the legs and coming onto the belly. Feet are close together. Elbows are right underneath the shoulders. Broaden through the chest, move the shoulders down away from the ears and lengthen through the back of the neck. Exhale, lower the chest and forehead to the mat, sliding the hands underneath your shoulders, and then inhaling, pressing up to the table, lifting the tailbone. And now exhale into downward facing dog. And it's fine to keep the knees slightly or deeper, more deeply bent in downward dog. And if the heels don't reach the floor, that's okay, but press them in that direction. Heels pressing to the earth. We'll lift the tailbone up and back towards where the ceiling and wall meet behind you. Move the shoulder blades down the back and aim the crown of the head to the space between your hands. From here, we'll move into downward facing dog. Shifting the weight into your left leg as you extend the right leg up and back. And bending that knee in towards the chest and stepping that foot forward. And making your way into either a low lunge with the back knee on the floor or remaining in high lunge. If you're in high lunge, pressing up through the back heel. And then inhaling, lifting the torso for warrior one, bringing the hands to the hips. Keep pressing out through the back heel, draw the tailbone down, square the hips forward, draw the thighs towards one another. And now exploring any variations that you like with the arms, moving into warrior one. And now exhaling, releasing, lower the arms down. And if the back knee is on the floor, straightening that leg, coming into a high lunge. And now step the back foot forward to meet the front. And soften into your forward fold. Now bring the hands to the hips or extend the arms to T position. Press into the feet, navel to spine. Inhale as you slowly make your way up to standing. Bring back, arms overhead, and then exhale. Lower the hands down to prayer position in front of the heart. Close the eyes. Pause here, feeling your heartbeat with the thumbs. Receiving the energy and aliveness of sun salutation. Noticing whatever it is that you're feeling in this moment. Welcoming all sensation. And 
Now we'll move into another round, coming to the front of your space. Release the arms down. Inhale as the arms reach up and overhead, palms touch, gaze upward. Exhale, hinge forward into your forward fold. Hands come to shins. Inhale, lifting halfway, lengthening your spine. And exhale, soften forward, lowering the fingertips down to the mat. And now stepping your left leg back, coming into the high lunge on this side. Or you could come into the low lunge with the knee on the floor and then make your way either into crescent or warrior pose. Breathe. And now exhaling, lower down. And step back into plank position. Exhale, lower the knees, moving into puppy stretch. Lower the forehead or chest towards the mat as you keep the hips lifted. Breathe. On your next inhalation, sliding forward into Sphinx, or if you like, moving into Cobra Pose. Exhale, lower down, bringing the hands underneath the shoulders and either moving from table into downward dog or pressing right back up into downward dog. Lifting the tailbone high, lengthening through the back of your body. And now shifting your weight into your right leg and inhaling as you extend the left leg up and back for three-legged dog. Inhaling, bending the left knee in towards the chest, stepping that foot forward. Moving into high lunge or low lunge, preparing for warrior or crescent pose. Keeping the feet hips width apart. Inhaling, lifting the torso. And moving into your version of warrior one or crescent pose. And now exhaling, lowering the hands down to frame the front foot. And if the back knee is on the floor, straightening that leg into high lunge. Exhaling, stepping the back foot forward into your forward fold. Relax the crown of the head. And now press into the feet, hands to hips or arms in T position. Pull the navel towards the spine and inhale as you slowly lift up to standing. Bringing the hands together to touch and then exhale, lower the hands to prayer position in front of the heart. Close the eyes or gaze softly. Receive. Noticing whatever it is you're feeling in the body, mind, breath. Noticing perhaps if you feel a little bit warmer or looser. Noticing whatever is here for you today. And now releasing the arms down. And set the feet a little bit wider than hips width apart. We'll release with a spinal twist, a swinging twist. So give a little bend to the knees. And begin by tapping the opposite shoulder with your hand, coming into a small twist with just the upper body. And you're welcome to stay here. If you'd like to make the movements a little bit larger, bending into the knees and then swing the torso to one side as the opposite heel comes off the floor. And if you like, you could relax the arms and allow them to swing from side to side. So taking care of yourself, and if at any time you feel lightheaded, you could stop the movement or just stick with the shoulder tapping. And now gradually making the movements a little bit slower and a little bit smaller. Gradually returning to stillness. And give a little shake to one leg and then the other.
And from here, we'll prepare to make our way back towards the floor. And to get there, we'll move through another half sun salutation. Standing tall in simple mountain pose. As you next inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And then exhaling, swan dive into your forward fold. Soft knees. Bringing the hands to the shins. Inhale, lift halfway so the spine is parallel to the earth. And then exhale, soften forward. And step one knee back and then the other, lowering yourself down into table position. And from table, moving into child pose. Bringing the toes together, knees are a little bit wider than hips width apart. Bring the bottom to the heels. And you can allow the head to hover, keeping the head and neck in line with the spine. Or if it's comfortable for you, you could lower the forehead to the mat, or you could place one hand up over the other to create a cushion to rest the forehead. If you have a block, you are also welcome to place a block underneath the forehead. So make yourself comfortable in any variation of child. Breathe naturally in and out through the nose. Make sure the knees are wide enough apart to create lots of space for the belly to breathe. And see if you could send your breath into the back of the body. One more full breath here in child. And then bringing the hands to your mat, slowly lift up to table. And then from table, swing the legs around, coming into seated. And give the legs a little shake from side to side. And from here, we'll make our way onto our backs once again, bending the knees, bringing the feet to your mat and roll your way down to lie on your back. So keeping the feet a comfortable distance away from the hips and bring the knees together to relax the legs. Grounding the upper back and shoulders into the mat and keeping the head and neck long. Resting the hands on top of the belly once again. And we'll move again into the extended exhalation breath. Taking a natural breath in and out through the nose. And now inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Exhale. And count again on your own.
and releasing this breathing technique on your next exhalation. Breathe naturally and notice and receive the effects of this breath. And now we'll move into our final relaxation, Shavasana. So for Shavasana, you are welcome to lie on your back or lie on your side, whatever is most comfortable. Straightening the legs along the floor, relaxing the arms by your sides with the palms facing upward. Close the eyes and allow yourself to settle into the floor settling into your mat. Letting go of any breathing pattern and allow your breath to flow naturally and effortlessly. Allow your body to relax and soften into the earth. Feel the weight of the body growing heavy. And imagine the weight of the body sinking down towards the earth as if you are lying in sand. And now continue to lie in stillness as I guide you through a body scan. Bringing your awareness to the crown of the head, the center of the forehead, the base of the throat. Right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, right hand and fingers, right wrist, right elbow, right shoulder, the base of the throat, left shoulder, left elbow, left wrist, left hand and fingers, left wrist, left elbow, left shoulder base of the throat, center of the chest, navel center, center of the pelvis, right hip, right knee, right ankle, right foot, right ankle, right knee, right hip, center of the pelvis, left hip, left knee, left ankle, left foot, left ankle, left knee, left hip, center of the pelvis, navel center,
center of the chest. Base of the throat. Center of the forehead. Crown of the head. The entire right side of the body, the entire left side of the body, the front of the body, the back of the body. The whole body together. The whole body together. Gradually begin to deepen your breathing, making some small movements with the fingers and toes, inviting awareness and sensation to return. Now bending the knees in towards the chest and rolling over onto your right side, resting in a fetal position. Pause here to acknowledge your efforts and dedication. And now pressing the hands into the mat and gradually make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Sitting tall with the eyes remaining closed. And bring the hands into prayer position in front of the heart coming into a gesture of gratitude. And bring to mind something that you are grateful for. And noticing how you feel in your body, mind, and spirit when you direct your thoughts towards gratitude. And I invite you to carry this feeling of peace and gratitude with you as you move into your day. Om Shanti Peace. May the peace in our hearts bring peace into the world. Bringing the hands in front of the face, palms facing you. Very softly allow your eyes to open. Moving the hands away and taking in your surroundings with a new perspective. Namaste. I honor the light in you.